ArraySTAR offers two different clustering algorithms to help you in identifying genes with similar expression patterns, hierarchical and k-means. To do either type of clustering, you first need to select the genes you want to cluster. For example, I'm going to select a group of genes from the scatter plot by clicking on one of these quick links. And this one selects genes that show a fourfold change between the two experiments I have plotted here. Once they're selected, go to clustering, hierarchical. And by default, when hierarchical is selected, the clustering will be displayed in the heat map. The heat map uses color to display the expression levels of my selected genes across each of my experiments. Each row in the heat map corresponds to one gene, and each column represents a specific experiment. The tree shown here on the left of the heat map is called the gene tree, and it shows the gene clusters that were created. You can select a particular cluster just by selecting the node in the tree. By default, the experiments in your project are also clustered during hierarchical clustering, and you can see those clusters by clicking on this Show Experiment Tree button. And now that tree is shown at the top of the, of the map. Now to do a k-means clustering, you again first make sure the genes you want to cluster are selected, and then go to Clustering, k-means. By default, when you do a k-means clustering, the clusters are displayed in the line graph thumbnails view. Each individual line graph shows a visualization of the data contained within one cluster. And to get a closer look at any of the clusters, you can just double click on that thumbnail to open it in the line graph view. As you can see, the expression levels here are plotted along the y-axis and the experiments are plotted along the x-axis. Now, if you want to do either kind of clustering using parameters that are different from the default settings, you can do that by going to Clustering, Advanced Clustering. And here we can see the parameters available for the clustering type that we select. So here we're looking at the parameters for hierarchical clustering, which include the type of graph that will be created, either the heat map or the line graph thumbnails as well as the distance metric and linkage method used, and whether or not you want to cluster the experiments. Now on the right side of the window, you can define which experiments should be clustered by selecting them from the list. To cluster individual experiments rather than the averaged experiments within a replicate set, you can just expand these replicate sets, and then select the specific experiments you want to cluster. For k-means clustering, you also have the option to define the number of gene and experiment clusters that will be created, as well as the number of trials and random seed used for the k-means algorithm. And each of these parameters is explained in depth in the help, which can be accessed by clicking on this button here. If you have further questions about clustering in ArraySTAR, or any other questions about our software, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.